A growing number of Conservative MPs are expected to vote against the government's COVID measures on Tuesday. That's because they feel they go too far. Now, one of the most controversial measures is the introduction of COVID passes in England. For Boris Johnson, this vote may be the largest number of MPs voting against him from his own party. We think that at the moment there's about 60 MPs. The Prime Minister is instead relying on this man to help him pass the vote. The vote is likely to pass because we know that Labour is expected to back it. The Prime Minister's credibility was hit again amid allegations of a Downing Street Christmas party held during lockdown restrictions last year. Now, this has put him in a very difficult and unenviable position. It's also brought up the bigger question of whether the public will actually follow the measures, especially with ministers perceived to be not following the rules that they've made. People this year just want a really good Christmas. And remember, last year we were promised that the rules won't affect the Christmas period, but in the end they did. This comes amid another challenge for the Prime Minister. Owen Paterson MP's resignation means that it's triggered a by-election in his former constituency of North Shropshire. Now, the results from this by-election could reflect a wider attitude among, um, among the public about the Conservatives and Boris Johnson. So all eyes will be on North Shropshire later this week, with the voters heading to the polls on Thursday. Jane Worrell, NTD News, London.